Hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi and with me is our brilliant student, Dr. Ishani, who got ranked 155 in the recently conducted NEET PG exam. Ishani, many, many congratulations, Bita. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Ishani, uh, I would like to know a couple of things about you. Uh, from which college did you do your MBBS and uh, what attempt was this for you? Sir, I did my UG from Jalandhar, Punjab Institute of Medical Sciences, Jalandhar. Okay. And it was my second attempt. It was your second attempt. Okay. So Punjab Institute of Medical Sciences, it's a, it's a, a private college, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Wonderful. And then now you have got a rank 155, which means you're going to one of the topmost institutes of the country. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. So Ishani, let's talk about your preparation. So first of all, uh, did you start preparing for the entrance examination during your MBBS days? Were you a very studious student? No, sir. I was like a typical average student. Like you can consider a below average as well. Okay. I did not study at all <laughs> during my MBBS. Mm -hmm. I didn't even study during internship. Okay. I had no notes. I mm. started preparing after my internship. Okay. But I had certain examples in my college as well. Okay. Uh, there was one of my seniors in 2011 batch. She had a rank of 108. Okay. She was my great inspiration that if she can do it, like if you compare yourself with the people around you, it becomes more relatable. So I okay. always used to look up to her that if she can do it, I can do it. So if you, you could do it, you can do it as well. That's, that's very nicely said. So uh, Ishani, you were telling me that initially uh, in the internship, you were thinking of appearing for USMLE. And yes, then sir. you switch. So, so practically, uh, your preparation, whatever you had done, was not even for the NEET PG exam. So, no, so it's entirely in the post internship period that you started preparing. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So let's talk a bit about your rank in the first attempt. What was your rank in NEET PG twenty twenty three? Sir, it was thirty nine k, thirty nine thousand. And so from thirty nine thousand, you made a jump to rank one fifty five. Oh, that's one of the biggest jumps that I have seen. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Wonderful. So let's talk about your preparation strategy. I think uh, BTR and rapid revision videos were your main source of preparation. Yes. So, so what was your strategy? I mean, you would start with BTR and wherever you would not be so confident, you would uh, go for main uh, rapid revision videos? Yes, sir. Sir, I followed completely Xander Ma'am's schedule. Okay. Everything Ma'am said, I did it. Okay. Ma'am said, do BTR, annotate BTR. Uh, do active recall of BTR. If necessary, supplement it with rapid revisions. I did that. Mm. I think in my first attempt for November NICT, I did not do enough MCQ practice. If one okay. thing I have to tell someone, it would be this exam is an MCQ exam. Mm. Ultimately, no matter how much knowledge you have, it all depends upon if you can solve an MCQ. Mm. So I think the most important key is solving MCQ. I did a lot of MCQ practice. Mm. I did use, or I gave all the tests of cerebellum. Mm. I, when the first time the exam get postponed, I bought the plan of cerebellum premium subscription. Mm. And then I gave all tests of cerebellum, late night PYQs, all the subject wise tests, everything I gave. And I've so, given, mm, mm. I have followed MAMS 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0 all. So BTR was used as a concise source, which formed the crux of your preparation. And then wherever you felt, you added the rapid revision videos. And then you started doing the ENDs and the late night PYQs to improve mm -hmm. your the hold on the MCQs. So that, that, that's a very wonderful plan. Uh, so all of us know that BTR is like the most uh, you know high yield, concise material anyone can get. So uh, whenever you felt that your concepts are lacking in certain areas, were, were those the subjects where you went for the rapid revision videos? Sir, to be very honest, my concepts were lacking in all subjects. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was a very pretty average student in my MBBS. Okay. I did not I, I mentioned earlier I did not do anything. Mm. So I had to supplement it. Mm. But because I gave my step one of USMLE, wow. I had okay. a pretty good base. I made a pretty good base during that okay. for basic sciences. Okay. I think that helped me. I don't know. Uh, in fact, if I may share with you, even I did the same. Uh, I also appeared for USMLE step one. And in fact, I went to US and then came back and then decided to appear for Indian PG entrance examination. Uh, even in my uh, exam, I remember the knowledge from step one was very helpful. Yes, because sir. In US, and during my time, it used to be a number-based exam. Now, now it's pass or fail. Na? We yes, used sir. to just score two digits and three digits. So it actually does help. It actually does help. 
uh, what about uh, your experience? How about your experience with the tests and discussions of the cerebellum? Uh, sir, how did it help you? Yeah. Yes, sir. I think it helped me a lot. Mm. As I mentioned earlier, it's an MCQ exam. Mm. You need to know how you how to solve an MCQ. You mm. might have plenty of knowledge, but mm. ultimately it all boils down to that three hours and your MCQ solving skills. Right. I think cerebellum helped helped me a lot in that. All the live tests and discussions, I have attended them all. And mm. it did actually help me a lot. Uh, Ishani, we started this late night PYQ thing, thinking that, you know, by the time it's 11 p.m., students are tired. Let us give us give, let us give them something uh, to end the day and also something that, that stays in their head. So yes. was it helpful? Yes, sir. It was very helpful. Like mm. when you solve subject-wise PYQs, it's a different thing. Mm. And when you get a mixed bag MCQs of PYQs, it's a different thing. Mm. And the more you practice MCQs, PYQs, it, mm. the better it is uh, did you come for btr offline no sir you did not okay wonderful so uh, ishani if if i may draw some lessons from our conversation uh, there are multiple things that we can you know take away from this interview first of all uh, whether you go to a peripheral co peripheral college government college whether you go to a central government college whether you go to a private medical college wherever you go things can change Somebody who goes to AIMS or MMC may not perform so well in the PG entrance examination. Somebody who went to a smaller college may do one exceptionally well in the PG entrance examination. So all of us have to keep the belief. Like, like you were inspired by one of your seniors. I want everybody who's watching this interview to be inspired by Ishani. Because, you know, it, it, I mean, she's so you know forthcoming in whatever happened in her career that she did not study so well in the MBBS days, started late and still managed to get such a great result. So it's, it's all no, a matter of starting. I, I think everyone should start early. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, okay. but those those who are uh, uh, doing internship now or who are post interns now, they can't go back now. So maybe, maybe... If someone is in my shoes, they can ah. definitely like do this. But I would definitely say that start it early because the sooner you start, the better it is. The better it is. But, but the road does not end even if you start yeah. late is what I'm trying to say. Yes, sir. So, uh, Ishani, what is your final advice to somebody who is uh, today very dejected, very sad, could not get a good rank, got say 40,000, 60,000 rank, and this is struggling with the thoughts that it's not possible for me, I may never get selected. What is your advice to that person? Sir, I would say just one thing. I knew my limitations. Hmm. If someone who is sitting in a Delhi college, mm. obviously, <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but obviously he's more intelligent than me. Okay. I, I mean, believe that. I believe that obviously he is more intelligent than me. You if believed have... that, right? Past tense. D, believed. <laughs> now, now you know that you are no, no less intelligent than anybody else. No, sir. I always believe that they are more intelligent than me. They have better resources at their hand. They have better exposure. But what I have in my hand is my hard work. I knew I had to put more hard work than them mm. to be the same place they are. And I knew my why and I just knew that I had to put in more hard work. You knew your why. Uh, are you a fan of uh, Simon? <laughs> no, sir. Oh. Just I knew my why. Okay, wonderful. Great. That's that's so nice to hear. So what, what branch are you planning to take up now, Ishani? <laughs> sir, haven't thought about that yet. Because I did not okay. accept this rank. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, wonderful. To be very so, honest, after the exam, I, mine was an evening shift. Yours was an evening shift. Okay, okay. So, so to, today, the, today, I'm sorry, please go ahead. Yeah, please go ahead. So after the exam, after, when I came out, I said to my mother, Ki to saal ki bar baad <laughs> So you were never expecting this result, huh? I don't have confidence. Nahi tha. Matlab, mm. Although my GT scores were good, mm. but... <laughs> so I've seen many interviews where the people say that your GT scores and your real exam scores are different. Mm -hmm. So I always had that fear that I <laughs> So I had to put in that hard work. And you always said that one thing that take it to the last day. Take right. it to the last day. You mm -hmm. uh, When the exam was uh, scheduled for 23rd of June, mm -hmm. you used to say that 22nd June, 10 p.m. you have to study. Right. If you right. do that, half of the work is done. Right. That kept echoing in my head that I have to take it to the last day. Rest God's grace and everything. Wonderful. 
so nice to talk to you shani so nice to talk to you to you it's so inspiring i'm i'm sure the juniors of yours who are watching this interview would really get inspired and uh, mm-hmm. best wishes for your future beta and thank you for taking out time and talking to us thanks a lot may thank god bless you thank you sir thank you Thank you.